Hello everyone, this is Val with This Is How You Do It. I have a squash, sweet potato, zucchini, onion, and a iced potato, a white potato. Out of those five vegetables, this is what I came up with. Now what I'm going to do now is place the potatoes in here to let them cook for a while. Let me turn the heat on. Add water to my pan. And I'm going to just put the sweet potatoes and the uh, white potatoes in here because they're going to take the longest to cook. I don't want to put my onion in just yet. I know you can use that to flavor your water, but I'm going to put lots of seasoning in this. That's the air conditioner just kicking on. And we season our potatoes. It's tamarind, garlic, paprika, cumin, parsley. Dry onions just for the flavor in these. I'm gonna put a little brown sugar in it. If this will melt. I just put brown sugar in this container. I'm gonna let that simmer for a while. And I'll put just a tad of chicken broth in it. Bouillon. To give the the water flavor. Now simmer with top on. After stirring it up and mixing all those beautiful flavors together. This is what we have so far. Um, the potatoes are not pushed through yet. Well, the sweet potatoes just went through. So the white potatoes has a little more time to go. So what I'm going to do is put the onions in here. I'm doing this by steps. Some right here. Let's see. Put those in there and stir them around. I'm running out of my liquid. As I go, I'm going to add liquid. If need be, add more seasoning. But because of these, just the onions, I'm not going to add any more seasoning right now. Just a little liquid to give it something to work with. Because each time you add something, you can actually water it down some. The rest of your vegetables and put more seasoning in it. More water. Because the seasoning is... is uh, getting weaker now. So go back through all the seasonings that you put in before. Um, you season to taste your taste. That's what it season to taste me. Uh, I have not put any salt in here. I'm not a big fan of salt, but I do have some Himalayan salt uh, that I could put in here.
it's just that because on my taste buds, salt, when I put salt in food, it's really salty. And so I don't like to use salt when I cook because of that. Other people really can't taste the salt when I, but I can. I can taste it. But I will put some in here. This is the salt that I'm using, and I have it in this container. It's supposed to be a more healthier choice. I don't want to, my potatoes and my uh, onions are translucent now. I don't want to cook it too much longer, but I want to uh, kind of let the squash and the zucchini get a little cook some just just a small amount this will be a hearty meal for the vegetarian or uh boil you some rice or some noodles and pour this over it It smells wonderful. I taste the sauce already and it's cooked to perfection, seasoned to perfection. This would actually go wonderful with some rice and then this broth uh, pulled over it and eat it um, Indian style. Or pull over some noodles and do a, night, a date night with chopsticks. You can put some meat in here if you want to chop up some chicken or some beef, but I'm going to leave this just like this. I probably uh, uh, poach some fish and have some fish on the side with it. And this is Val. This is how you do it. And I talk to all you beautiful, beautiful people on the next video. Don't forget to stay safe out there. And that's just five vegetables and a hardest meal is made out of these five vegetables. You can just put the poached fish with it and that'll be your meal and i'll talk to you beautiful people beautiful people on the next video bye bye now